got a little bit more time in Taiwan, so what I thought I'd do, I'd do another one of my film first film videos. Now, if you've not seen these videos, basically what I do is I take two films and I put the films in identical cameras. So they're in two Nikon F100s with 50mm 1.8D series lenses. Now, one of the Nikon F100s is shot in aperture priority mode spot metering, and I transfer those settings over to the other F100, which is in manual mode. So the exposure is exactly the same. I'm not going to rely on the light meters from two different cameras. It's as close as I can get it and then what I will do is I will compose the shot as best I can so the shots are taking about 10 seconds of each other um, and the first video I did it was quite interesting actually it came out quite well now I've done another video a couple of days ago which is quite weird I'll be honest it's actually put in Lumachrome purple up against portrait 160 so that video will be down in the description or it'll actually be at the end of this video there'll be a link to that now before I talk about the films um, to let you guys know all my film videos now I give you guys a chance to win the film basically all you have to do is like this video comment on this video and subscribe to my channel and then in two weeks i will pick a winner and i'll put that winner on my community page and then i will ship these films to you anywhere in the world free of charge you don't pay for anything and then that way you can try these films out for yourself now the two films that i'm actually going to be using are black and white films from ilford and they're ready available here in taiwan now one is ilford pan 400 now it's a box speed 400 film and i'm told it's reboxed hp5 so if i'm wrong let me know, but I've been told from a very good source that this is basically HP5 for the Asian market. Now the other black and white film from Milford is a little bit different. It's a black and white film and it's called XP2 400, box speed 400, but it's a black and white film that can be developed in color chemicals, C41 basically. So it's much cheaper to get developed and it's faster. And to be honest, I've used it quite a bit here while I've been in Taiwan. And I'm quite happy with the results, but I've never compared it to another film. So I've compared it to two Ilford films together. And you've got XP2 and you have Pan 400. And it'd be quite interesting to see what the results are. Now the local lab here is actually developing them for me. And then I'm gonna go back to New Zealand and scan the negatives and then we'll do a slideshow in a minute. Now, if you've not seen my video on how I scan negatives, check it out because it's a really good video and it's been really popular on YouTube basically, it's had nearly 300,000 views. So that will pop up somewhere here and there'll also be a link at the end of the video to that video as well. So here's a slideshow and then after the slideshow, I'll be back in New Zealand and we'll have a chat about the films and what I think about them. So before we talk about the film, just to let you know that down in the description is a link to the Dropbox folder with the two um, photos from that slide show you've just seen, which is of the Ilford Pan 400 and the XP2, and two photos from my previous video, which is Kodak Portra 160 versus Lumachrome Purple, which is a very bizarre film. Now, all of the color checker photos will be down below in the Dropbox link, so you can check them out for yourself. And also check out that video. It's quite interesting to see what that Lumachrome purple does. The link will be at the end of this video, um, so you can head over there after you finish watching this video. Now let's talk about these two films. Um, what did you think of the XP2? A lot of people don't shoot XP2 because they're concerned it's a cheap film that's developed in C41 chemical. Um, I've given quite a lot of this away over the years to get people to shoot it because I think it's a really good film to shoot. It's not as contrasty as the Ilford Pan 400, which again, I think is HP5. I've been told from a very good source it's HP5. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but hopefully my source is really good. Um, it's not as contrasty, but it's a beautiful film for the price. It's actually quite cheap to buy, and it's even cheaper to get developed than black and white. And normally the turnaround's a lot faster as well. So it's a really nice film, and I hope you guys can make a decision from the video as well because comparing the two films together this way gives you guys an idea exactly how different the characteristics are of the film and also using the color checker 
even in the gray scale, you can see the difference. You can definitely see a difference there. So which one do you like? The Ilford Pan 400 or the XP2? Which one do you shoot with? Um, or this is HP5, what I'm hoping this is HP5. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, remember you can win these two. I can't send them to you in 120 because they don't do a 120 in these films. Um, all you have to do is like this video, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. And in two weeks, I pick a winner and I post it on my community page. It's been quite successful this. I've sent quite a few films out. And um, coming up near Christmas, there will be a special Christmas bonus of films going out to somebody, one of my subscribers. And this is for new subscribers and old subscribers because you've all supported my channel over the years. It's almost nearly two years been running this channel and I really appreciate that. And this is to give something back to you guys and to get you to try these films because they are quite expensive for some people to buy. But the fact is that I can send you these films to test and you can play around with them and see what you think. This channel is about photography and it's also about my work, basically. Most of the cameras or the products I review, I actually use for work. I'm reviewing them because I want to test them basically for myself. Whether they're good or bad, I will let you guys know. The S1H this is being filmed on was actually used for four days non-stop in the factories in Taiwan. I was doing some work out there and I was also shooting for a German magazine as well. So they're actually using that video footage for their online um, posts, I guess, really. Um, I don't actually know where that footage is going, but we did quite a few interviews. Now, the S1H got so hot out there, the fan kicked in. Never heard the fan before. It does make a little bit of noise, but it was very impressive that the camera didn't shut down. It got very hot in one of those factories, and the fan did kick in, but I had no problems recording the video, which is absolutely outstanding. I really do like this S1H. It's probably my favorite camera because it can do great photos, but it can also do great video. And film photography is a big part of me as well. I love film photography. Um, it, it's something that slows me down and I enjoy shooting film. I enjoy it so much, I bought another medium format camera, which is this beast here. This is the Hasselblad 503 CW, the last of the great Hasselblads, basically. This is a six by six medium format film camera. This was actually made in 2008, this camera. I checked the serial number. It's a 2008 and it's in beautiful condition. I've been trying to get one of these for quite a while and one came up actually in New Zealand on TradeMe with a few accessories and a few lenses. So. I purchased it while I was in Taiwan and luckily for me the actual seller held onto it before I got back because it was a little bit difficult to explain some of the I'm overseas but I want to buy a camera. Now this will feature in a new series on my channel. Um, probably every two weeks I'll post a new video about the Hasselblad and my journey with the Hasselblad. That series of videos will start next week where I talk about the Hasselblad and the accessories I've got and what I'm going to be using and what it's going to be used for. So remember to subscribe and hit that little bell notification, you'll get a notification when that video goes up. But these are amazing cameras. I can't believe how well made they are. Mamma Mia's, love Mamma Mia 645, but this is just a whole different level. And it's a completely different look as well to the photos. So keep an eye out for that video. Thank you for watching. And remember to like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel to be in a chance to win a roll of XP2 and Pan 400 from Ilford. Now, I've actually been able to get hold of Acros here, Fuji Acros, um, which I've been wanting to shoot this for quite a while, and they actually got it in stock here. I bought quite a bit 120 film. I've actually got quite a lot of 120 film, but that's for another project. We'll 